All right, yeah, let's just, just like, count down. She was uh, just like, five, five four. Wait, I, okay. <laughs> oh, are we doing it at the same time? Yeah. Like, okay, what? Five, four. I did it? Oh, my God. <laughs> What's I happening? Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we count down? <laughs> five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. This is Lisa from Team Epic Reads. And this is Mitch from Team Epic Reads. And welcome to episode four of Is This Real is Life? Is This Real Life? So today we're going to talk about um, some book to movie and TV adaptations. Um, so I know last time we talked about some summer reading. Mm -hmm. um, and what goes better than a summer book, than a, a nice summer blockbuster? Yes, summer a blockbuster movie, a film. is the best thing about know. summer. Yeah. You know, I just want to see all the movies. I feel like I haven't gone to the movies in a bit, but there's yeah. so many good ones coming out, which we're going to talk about, so... Yeah, and there's not like nothing beats like a hot summer day just like going to an air conditioned mm -hmm. movie theater with and the popcorn like, yes. and then the food like a huge jumbo soda. Actually, I'm really weird and people are going to judge me for this, but I'm one of those people who don't really eat food during a movie. I used to not. Okay. Yeah. Like I will at home cuz mm -hmm. I have my own food, but then in a movie theater, I guess we just never did it when I was growing up and so I'm used to yeah. not. Whereas some people are like, how like, are you a person? How are you not? The yeah. Yeah, I just started again. I was like, movies are so expensive. Like, I don't yeah. want to be paying so much for popcorn and a movie. Mm -hmm. or popcorn movie and, like, a drink. <laughs> but, yeah, so today we're talking about um, some upcoming book adaptations that we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to talk about what we want as our own casting for books mm -hmm. to movies slash TV shows, even if they've already, you know, been Happened. shot and have casts <laughs> yeah. and are in the past, we still want to recast them with our choices. Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little reboot. Yeah. But before we do that, we just wanted to shout out some new merch yes. we got, which is so exciting. So we just got new Epic Reads branded merchandise. Um, and right now we have three amazing t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So this one says, it's lit. Yes, and this one says, I have no shelf control. Which we all know that everyone who's watching this and ourselves, we have that problem. Yes. Uh, and then, or is it really a problem? Not really. I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> and then this one is, I'd rather be reading. And yeah. I want to be like in On this that picture, beach. yeah, in a <laughs> in hammock. That hammock. Please. Oh, I love hammocks. Oh, same. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys want to see more of those exciting products, just check out the link in the comments. And also, we're designing new things too. So, if you have ideas for another kind of t-shirt design or things that aren't t-shirts, mm -hmm. just let, let us, us know. know. We actually have an email, so Epic Reads Merch at HarperCollins.com. Uh, it's in the link as well, and you can email us to just tell us all your comments. Yeah, we'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, so I guess let's talk about our favorite past movie, yeah. movie and TV adaptations of books, right? Yeah, I feel like YA as a genre has now become also a movie genre, you know, which mm -hmm. is exciting because we love all these books and we get to see them, you know, be a com kind of different art form. And now, you know, we get to visually see them, which yeah. I don't know, for me is sometimes weird because I'm not a visual thinker. So I always like to read the book and then, you know, picture it myself. Yeah, yeah for sure. But that's why I guess it's fun to have the movie just to see how it's different from what was in your brain. It's good to see someone else's depiction of yeah. what you already think. And like when it matches up, that's like great. Then you're great. You feel amazing because you're like, yeah, me and the director have the yeah. same mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so brilliant. <laughs> I don't know if anyone thinks that, but um, so let's see. Some of my first YA movie uh, remembrances, is that the right word? Um, I remember seeing. Uh, the Hunger Games, mm -hmm. which was so amazing. Of course, you know, the buzz around the books was huge, is still huge, especially with the new one coming out, which everyone is freaking it's out really about. insane. Um, but that movie was amazing. I thought that they stuck really well to the book, which yeah. is hard to do, as we all know, you know. Um, I feel like book lovers are you know, consistently saying, oh, the book is better, read it first. But mm -hmm. when you have a movie that is equally as good, that's 
really fun. Yeah. Because like we were saying, it kind of matches what you saw in your head. Uh, so I love that. And then, um, what was the other one? Divergent. I did love Divergent um, when that came out. Shailene Woodley, I really like her acting. Mm -hmm. And Theo James, I thought their chemistry was really good. So, yeah, what about you? Um, well, definitely The Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that was one of the the adaptations that I was like, oh, my God, this is spot on. Yeah. Like, I love Jennifer Lawrence and anything she does. Um, and I think Peta and Gail were, like, perfectly cast. Yeah, I think the Liam casting Hemsworth was great. And, I agree. Yeah, and Josh Hutcherson. I just, like, I don't I, like, loved everything about it. Um, I feel like it even, like, surpassed what I thought thought of in my mind, mm -hmm. like, for, like, the arenas and... Because it's such an original world that you yeah. have to... But it really came to life on the screen. You could... That was one mm -hmm. of the things that actually helped me, because sometimes, again, not a visual person, so I can't <laughs> really picture it, you know? Like, yeah. so then seeing it on screen, I actually can believe it more. Mm -hmm. Especially in, like, high-tech worlds, I'm like, I have no idea right. what this means, so, like, please show me. <laughs> um, but, and yeah, they did it. Definitely, definitely Hunger Games. Harry Potter too, oh, of like course. one of the first the ones I remember. Yeah, um, which obviously it's like, uh, it's like I don't the know. Gold standard. Yeah, I mean I love the Harry Potter books. The movies to me are just like in a league of their own. Yeah. but I mean so are the books. There's it's like one of those hard ones that you can mm -hmm. can't compare. But the um, movies are just like my childhood, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And especially because you know there's so many and seeing the them grow up as we grow up and Hermione slash. Uh, Emma, Ro oh my god, <laughs> Emma Watson, <laughs> yeah. I, there's so many Emmas, Emma Roberts, Emma, Emma Thompson, Emma Stone, yeah, Emma. so, but obviously I know Emma Watson because she's perfect, mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> I just, I think they, they couldn't have chosen a better cast, which is great because yeah. they were child actors too, so. Yeah, and then another Emma Watson movie, Perks of Being a Wallflower, <gasps> yes. which was, I've read that book so many times. I love, that is a classic as yeah. well, for sure. Um, and then just the casting in that I thought was perfect too, like mm -hmm. Ezra Miller yeah, and uh, Logan Lerman and Emma Watson. Just uh, I do oh remember seeing not to call her out, but one of the scenes where she tries to say Charlie's name and like the English accent slips out. Oh, you're like, I see you, Emma. I, I love catching those. I'm like, yeah. you know what? You you can't fool us. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think those were some of the first ones. Um, I feel like there were also times when I didn't know something was a book before watching the movie. Yeah. So things like The Princess Diaries and totally. like mm -hmm. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, like those to like watch the movie and then go back and read the book. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, those are so old. I know, I, I know. Forgot that for one second that they were also YA. That's so true. I know. The Such Sisterhood like of the Traveling Pants. I mean, both those movies are amazing. Like, they're totally different, mm -hmm. but. Oh my gosh, I love them. I know, and I feel like there's been rumors about a, f a third movie in the Sisterhood series for so long, and oh. I don't know if it's going to happen. Someone but make it happen. I know. It's not us. <laughs> Ugh, I've been like following these rumors for like three or oh four years. I'm like, what is happening? Blake Lively, like, get it together. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> make this movie. I mean, that first movie was like 2005, so I that's going to be a stretch, but yeah. I still would immediately go to theaters yeah. and watch it probably twice. I know. The last book in the series is like them, I think it's like them 10 years later, so I'm oh. like, okay, maybe it could still happen. <gasps> oh, that would be so exciting. So, oh, I really hope that happens. Who knows? But yeah, those were definitely like my favorites growing mm -hmm. up, like all of those. Yeah, and then recently, I feel like there's been a whole bunch, um, Hate You Give, Mm -hmm. We can proudly say that was a fantastic yes. movie, book to movie adaptation. Uh, also, think the casting was like spot on and perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, and then Dumplin. Oh um, yeah, that's on Netflix. Netflix, yes. Um, and also to all the boys I loved before mm -hmm. uh, is on Netflix, which I'm so happy about. It was so oh, good. Yeah, and the second one amazing. is coming out. I don't I remember when, but soon. Um, and. Then Five Feet Apart, mm -hmm. which just came out in theaters. Um, that has so much buzz about it. Yeah. I actually haven't read it or seen the movie yet, so I I do want to. I haven't seen this cover yet, and I'm like, okay, yeah. I need to start reading this now. But I mean, yeah. 
Wait, that's Cole, right? That's yeah, Cole Sprouse. Cole Sprouse. <laughs> I feel like he's in. Uh, he's River been in a Rail. lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, Cole Sprouse and Haley Lou Richardson. Okay. Uh, Those are just some that have come out recently. Um, and then there's some that are coming out, and we also want to cast our own, which we'll play in a game very shortly. Yeah. I can start with um, one of the ones that I read that's going to be uh, turned into a movie, or has already been turned into a movie, and it's going to be released in September. Ooh, exciting. Um, so this is Walter Dean Meyer's uh, Monster. So this is a book um, about a 17-year-old who is um, convicted of a crime, and it's kind of just the whole process of, you know, is he innocent? What all feeds into this whole trial? Um, it was actually, I loved the way that this was laid out. It was laid out in like little, I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, just kind of written as a script already. And then you had these like little diary entries. Oh, that's um, really unique, yeah, that's cool. From the main character, Steven. Um, so it was, it was just so interesting to see a book laid out like that and having it be turned into a movie, just seeing what in that script is going to stay mm -hmm. and what's going to change. And um, yeah, so this is coming out in September. Um, it has some big names attached to it. Um, Jennifer Hudson's going to oh, be wow. in it. Yeah. And um, Jeffrey Wright, who was um, BD in the Hunger Games series. So there's, there's kind of this huge buzz around this already mm -hmm. because of these like huge profile actors and actresses. That's so exciting. And, yeah, it's gonna be good. That'll be like the tail end of summer yeah. award that we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so September 27th it's coming out. So. Mark your calendars. Yeah. Uh, oh, I meant to do a disclaimer. This is gonna be the hardest Is This Real Life episode for me because I know no actors' names. <laughs> um, apparently, I watch weird TV, someone told me, because I watch kind of obscure Netflix shows that aren't that popular, and then I don't watch the actual popular shows that everyone's I mean, talking about. But still, that's so like the best. It's the good. I just never can talk about anything with anyone. <laughs> My pop culture references are from 2006 or really weird and no one knows I mean, it was a good time. I definitely, <laughs> in casting some of these, I feel like I brought some obscure references. Yeah. I actually looked at the internet for fan casting ideas because I had to get some ideas because okay. I didn't have my own. <laughs> um, let's see. So this movie came out, I think it was earlier this spring. Yeah. Um, I saw it in theaters, which was amazing. Uh, and we've talked about this book in one of our other episodes, but this is The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I absolutely love the book, um, and the movie was equally as amazing. Again, it's totally different art almost, because the movie really focuses on the almost either half the second half of the book or even the last third of the book. So mm -hmm. it's different because obviously in the book you um, learn more about the characters' past and their childhood and growing up, which is great for you know character development and stuff like that. And then the movie, it really goes from, okay, this big event happened and now we're gonna tell what happens after. So you're looking at it with less backstory, mm -hmm. but still equally amazing. And um, that casting was great. So oh, yeah. I think I want more people to see this and read about it because I want it to get the hype it deserves. <laughs> uh, I feel like it gets hype in certain you know sections, but I really want everyone to just know what it is. So I definitely know. check it out. I know. I feel like this one kind of flew under the radar a yeah. little bit. And I like wanted it to be this huge thing because mm -hmm. it should be. So check out that one. Mm -hmm. um, and then. What else do we have? We know that this came out, uh, Love, Simon. That yes. was last year yeah. in theaters. Yeah, and last spring. That was so exciting. Uh, we Amazing. got to see a sneak preview, I guess, <laughs> a special little you know, preview of it, which was awesome. And we might recast that, but that was cast pretty Perfectly. darn well. Yeah, so. that, that one's hard yeah. to recast because they did such a good job. but. Mm -hmm. Um, and then another one that I read is um, Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazimian. Um, and this one is, I just like, I'm obsessed with this cover. I think mm -hmm. like the, just like it's the- It's gorgeous. Yeah, the colors and everything are just so pretty. Um, so this is a story about um, three 17 year olds living in New York City in 1989. 
during the AIDS epidemic um, and just how it's affecting each of their lives. Abdi um, has written for a bunch of different series. So The Village on NBC, which just came out um, this past TV season. Um, and he also served as executive producer for Call Me By Your Name, uh, which is like... <laughs> oh my God, talk about book to movie adaptations. I, yeah. Uh, I could spend a whole episode talking about oh that movie God. and this, that book. Just the way that movie is shot is just like in its own lane. It's mm-hmm. so pretty. Um, so yeah, this when when this book was being announced, I was like, oh my God, I need to read this. Yeah. Um, so it's, I think it's just such like an important story to be told. Um, and we're filming this during Pride Month, which Ooh, is, yes. it just fits in perfectly with that. Um, and also like the, um, the Stonewall riots, it's the 50th anniversary. Mm. So I feel like this is just like the perfect story for now. It's being turned into a movie, so. Oh, so exciting. Yeah, so the, um, the team behind HBO's Sharper Objects, that like mini series that came out with Amy Adams this past year, they have the rights to this. So I'm really excited to see what they do with yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, that has been on my radar. I haven't read it yet, but um, the premise sounds amazing. And then immediately seeing the cover, I was definitely sold because yeah. it's so pretty. It's I just know. so pretty. I um, know. And yeah, so we're going to cast this one later, and I can't wait to see it what you guys think of my casting <laughs> choices. But, They're going to be way better than mine, oh so. My gosh. We'll see, we'll see. But, yeah. Yeah. So. Should we just get into the casting game? I think I guess. it's time. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> what should we start with? Should I, don't know, I start there's with so like many... love story? Yeah, sure. Okay, go ahead. I'll start with like love story. I wrote, I wrote some of the stuff down because, um, you know, I can't remember everything off the top of my head. But, um, so. For the main character, Reza, who um, is of um, Iranian descent, he moves to Canada before moving to New York City. Um, I cast, in my head when I was reading this, I, it was during Aladdin, like when that <laughs> movie came out. So, okay, amazing um, movie. Yeah, so Mena Masood, who plays Aladdin, Ooh. I was like, he could fit yeah. well with this character. Um, Jade Hassounye from um, Shadowhunters and Cyberbully, those like freeform that <laughs> show and movie. Um, I was like, he could he could be good for this too. Um, yeah, and then so for the um, the other characters in this book, Judy, I saw her as kind of like um, like an eighty Bryant from like SNL um, or Shrill. Um, or even Dumplin, Danielle McDonald, um, who was in the Dumplin movie. I feel like she could have been great for this role too. Um, or then just like throwing it really far back to like hairspray. Oh, like I get Nikki, that. Nikki yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. Um, yeah, I feel like they would would all do a great job. Um, and then for the third person in this trio, Art, um, he is described as this. Kind of like rebellious, gay, um, 17-year-old who just, like, doesn't care about, you know, like, pissing people off. Um, Love it. Yeah, so him, I I saw him as kind of like a Troy Sivan. Okay. Um, Ooh. Character. Or, like, even, like, Adam Lambert. I don't know. <laughs> if Adam Lambert was, like, younger. Um, or even, like, Noah, um, Galvin from Booksmart and, like, The Real O'Neill. Oh, my God, you have to see Booksmart. Yeah. Ugh. Or The Real O'Neills. Um, I thought that they would all do a great okay. job with this. I, I don't know. Like, do you think Ezra Miller would be possible? possibility? Ooh, okay. Because I'm just thinking of Perks yeah, yeah, yeah. being a wallflower. He kind of It, like, reminded me of that character, character. so much. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he would do a great job. Um. But yeah, that was that was who I cast nice. for this one. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who is Lisa going to cast? I'm just using third person because I do that. Um, <laughs> so Looking for Alaska is going to be a TV show, which is so exciting and also crazy because, if I'm correct, so the book was written in 2006, and then John Green sold the film rights and then possibly wanted to get them back, but then it was too late. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so now, 13, or however, math, however many years later, <laughs> uh, 
they have decided to actually move forward because I think there was a lot of false starts. And then, of course, he has movies made out of his books, but this mm. is going to be a TV show, and they have a cast. Oh um, and that was my first John Green book and also his first book because it was his debut. So I'm just so excited to see that come to life. But I'm also... It'll be so weird because it has been such a long time. But it'll be also mm -hmm. nice because new readers will find it and maybe, you know, read the book if they haven't heard of it yet. And even though I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of it. So for my casting, mm. I, again, terrible with all actors' names. <laughs> so I did look on the internet and see <laughs> to see what other people wanted. So looking for Alaska, the main character's name is Miles. Miles Halter, and then he's nicknamed Pudge because he's really skinny. So immediately I thought of Logan Lerman because oh. he's usually, I don't know, kind of that role of, he. I mean, he has a personality, but he's kind of quieter, you know, and then the people around him uh, are excited and excitable. That was a terrible description. Let me do it again. <laughs> um, I feel like Logan Lerman would fit Miles, maybe. Uh, the internet said Freddie Highmore. Do you know who that is? I have no idea who that is. I should have my phone with a picture of him. Okay, so people said that. Oh, and then I was also thinking Nat Wolf, just because I love Nat Wolf. Okay. He was in Paper Towns. He was Quentin, the main character. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So that would be a little keeping weird. It, because it in the John <laughs> yeah. Green universe. He'd, yeah. I but. mean, they do repeat actors, but having the same main actor for two different movies, <laughs> I don't know. But... Uh, I do love Nat Wolf's acting, so I feel like he could do that justice. Um, a lot of people had opinions about Alaska, so she's the 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 main uh, force, and also in the title of the book. And she really changes Miles's life, and she's full of energy and is an amazing character. So for her, a lot of people said Kaya Scoladero. So Kaya Scoladario from Skins. Oh, okay. So I was like, she played Effie it's... in Skins, mm -hmm. which was that UK show a really long time ago. Um, I didn't really watch that many episodes, but apparently everyone wanted her because she is that brand of kind of angsty and deep. And yeah. of course, we know that, you know, authors don't cast their movies, uh, so don't you know, go adding John Green about that. <laughs> you can add us about that. Yes. Um, I was also thinking of Cassie from Skins. I have seen just a few episodes, and she seems like she has a very uh, kind of eclectic personality, so I feel like Alaska has that as well. So I thought that okay. might be a good match. Uh, and then the other characters. So the colonel is... Uh, M Miles' is roommate, and he's really funny and kind of short, which is, a, I guess, a character trait. Um, and people were saying Josh Hutcherson. Oh, Which yeah. I guess I could see. I don't know. I don't think it perfectly fits, but I do love him, too, as an actor. So Same. Like, I, anything he does, I feel like. So I'm, I could see I'm that. Uh, and then finally, Takumi is the other part of their friend group. And... Um, I was thinking Ryan Higa, even though he's too old to be in high school. Sorry, Ryan. Like a younger but version. <laughs> a younger version of him. And yeah, that's my casting. Okay. Still I like can't it. really picture it in my head, but I just threw out names and you can all comment to me and judge me and just educate <laughs> me and tell me what you want. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's gonna happen, so Yeah. Yeah, true. It will actually it. be a thing and then we can forget all about my casting. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. I just like <laughs> laughed and coughed at the same time. Um, okay, so the next one that I am gonna cast. So the opposite of always has been optioned for <gasps> yes. a film. Oh, so exciting! Um, this book we talked about this. I think in episode two. Mm -hmm. So if you want to click back to that, um, to just get a full description of it. Um, it's Justin A. Reynolds, who is like the nicest person. Um, and so I just. I hope he agrees with my <laughs> casting choices. Um, so for Kate, who's the main character in this book, um, I thought that maybe Kiki Lane would be good. So she was the lead in If Beale Street Could Talk this Ooh, past year. I have to see that movie. It's so good. Yeah. Um, and she just like won me over completely. Okay. I was like obsessed with it, obsessed with her, like just everything about the movie. For Jack, who's the main character in this, 
I just pictured him as um, the guy from Harry Potter, um, Alfred Enoch. I love him. Yeah. I um, love him. Yeah, so from Harry Potter and How to Get Away with Murder, he's just like, I think he would be great. Um, and then, or Tyler James Williams from uh, Dear White People, I thought would be a great main character um, or leading man. Um, Franny, the best friend to um, to Jack's character. Um, I thought Tyler Posey from like Teen Wolf would be good. <laughs> um, for the dad, also in the Marvel world, um, Anthony Mackie, um, who plays like the, the Falcon and like all the Captain America movies um, and like all the Avenger movies. Um, and then for the mom, I thought Tracy Ellis Ross could, like, add a little comic relief <laughs> to it. Um, so Tracy Ellis Ross, Diana Ross's daughter, also from Blackish. Um, I just think she's so funny, and I think she would be great. So those are nice. my casting choices. I like them. Let me know what you guys would pick for <laughs> this. But I can't yeah. wait for that to come to screen. That'll be I really know. a good one. I know. Let's see. What else can I cast? Um, so... Sarah Dessen, whose book, The Rest of the Story, just came out. So exciting. She has three movies coming out with Netflix. They bought um, rights. I don't know if that's how movies work. They're going to make three (laughs) books to movies for her. So one of them is Along for the Ride, and then I believe the other two is This Lullaby, and I can't forget the, I can't remember the third one, but... Along for the Ride is going to be made first, and it's also my favorite of the three, but I've also only read that one, so it doesn't really matter. But that book was really great. It was such a summer read because, of course, Sarah Dessen. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, the story is this very studious girl, Auden, who her father is a an English professor, so, of course, he names her Auden after a poet. Uh, so she has divorced parents, and her mother is very strict with her. So Auden has taken, you know, she's been very studious and very obedient for her whole life. Um, So now she's 18 and it's the summer before she goes to a great school. So it did pay off, but she feels very lacking in social adventures. She feels like she didn't really have the high school experience because she was kind of isolated, whether by choice or not. So She spends the summer in between with her dad, who lives in Colby, this beachside town that's in a few of Sarah Dessen's books. And then she meets Eli, who is an insomniac just like her. So I love how the premise is that they're both insomniacs. They just wander this sleepy beach town in the summer at night. And slowly, he is also running from something in his past. So basically, he promises to help her live the life that she missed right before she goes to college and it's really beautiful and the character development is great and also it has a little bit of feminist uh, tones which because Auden's mother is a little more judgmental so that's made Auden more judgmental and then she moves you know the classic my whole life changed in the summer so she moves and at first she judges these girls who she's friends with based on the judgments that her mother used to put on her But then she learns, oh, people are more than just, you know, one dimensional. And it's really great that, you know, she learns to support other people and they in turn support her. So my casting, um, Auden, I was trying to think of someone who just looks kind of innocent and studious, which is, I don't know how to find that. Um, (laughs) But then... Basically, I came up with Lily Reinhardt from oh, She's Betty from Riverdale, in Riverdale. Yeah. Most of my casting choices are from Riverdale because I, think I have a couple. <laughs> <on this too. laughs> yeah, so she's gonna be Auden, which I didn't quite picture, but I can I can kind of see it. Yeah. Eli, I thought um, KJ Apa also okay. from Riverdale. I mean, I feel like he could play the haunted boy with oh, the past. For sure. You know, yeah. <laughs> he's wandering the streets at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is looking pretty good. Um, (laughs) I was also, okay, so before KJ, I mean, (laughs) yeah, KJ, um, I was thinking of Timothy Chalamet. Oh, yes. Which, totally different vibe, but but he also is a very, I could see him being, you know, wandering alone at night and then meeting someone and having their, both of their lives change. Yeah. So, and then I had two more choices. 
Cole Sprouse, mm -hmm. just because he was that character in Riverdale, and Ansel Elgort, mm -hmm. because I, I don't really know why I chose him. <laughs> I was kind of thinking of his music video, where he he's trying to be that guy. A little brooding, a little... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then for... So Auden moves to her father's place in Colby, and he has remarried, so now there's a stepmother who is kind of the opposite of her mother because the stepmom is very, uh, I guess, very overly feminine, and at first Auden overlooks her because she thinks that she's not very smart, which is very judgmental, you know, and not right. But slowly she comes to realize, okay, looks aren't everything, you know. So I thought Reese Witherspoon would actually be perfect oh. for that role just because Reese looks like such a, you know, beautiful kind of Barbie figure, mm -hmm. but she also has depth and yeah. shows you that looks aren't everything. Yeah. Basically legally blonde. I was going <laughs> to say, she proved so, it in legally blonde. Exactly. So. So I, if I have anything, I do have that casting. <laughs> and then for I the know. dad, I just said Josh Duhamel. Mm. I don't know why. He just, he came up for, he was the dad in Love, Simon. Yeah. And he seems like a pretty good dad figure. And, I agree. And then, oh, and then for the mom, I cast Sandra Bullock. Because I was thinking of the proposal. Wow. Which, yeah, just the kind of, you know, stern mother who has the best interests but is also one type of way, and then she opens up also in the book. So, yeah, that was my casting. Wow, I want to see that movie. <laughs> Oh, that I'm is happy. Great casting. <laughs> great. Um, okay, so I guess for my next one, um, I'll talk about Simon. So, um, love Simon. I mean, they did amazing with this casting. So, like, mm -hmm. I don't even know if I should touch this. <laughs> I don't know but why we're doing it. <laughs> I thought I would be able to do this. Um, but for Simon, I was thinking, um, like, Ross Lynch from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ooh. I thought he would be, like, a good Simon character. Or even Tom Holland from, like, the Spider-Man movies. Um, I thought both of those would be great choices. Um, for Leah, I, I don't know. I was, like, this one I was kind of struggling with. I didn't know who would be a great, you know, yeah. best friend to him. Um so I picked Bailey Madison. Um, she was in, like, Once Upon a Time. She played, like, the younger Snow White. Okay. Um, she was in that, like, movie Just Go With It with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Um, she always... She, she's, like, up and coming, I feel like. And I feel like she, like, fit in that role. Mm -hmm. um, or uh, Mackenzie Foy, which I don't know much about her, but I feel like I just keep seeing her name pop <laughs> up everywhere. And I'm like, okay, she... She could do it. She could do it. Um... <laughs> For Nick, uh, I picked Michael B. Jordan just yes. because, you know, why not? Just because it's Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for Abby, I thought, um, I mean, Amandla um, mm. did, like, a great job in The Hate You Give. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? She did. She, she could be a good choice for this. Mm -hmm. um, or I um, picked Zendaya because <gasps> I just, yes. I love her. And I just started watching her show Euphoria on HBO, oh. which is like insane. Um, but I, I love HBO, it. I have HBO, but I do need to see that. I mean, if you need to borrow my HBO, yeah. All right, um, well, I know what I'm doing after this. <laughs> <laughs> and then for Bram, I went like not really in the movie Genre, I I thought Chance the Rapper <laughs> could do a good job. Love if it. He, like, if he <laughs> ever wants out. to get into acting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or even Jaden Smith. I was like, he could do it. Yeah. So, I mean, he he did, like, the Karate Kid, so I feel like he has some acting chops. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, those were my... That's so fun. <laughs> those were my choices. My one more is A Very Large Expanse of Sea. So we talked about that in, I think, our first episode um, by Tahara Mafi. And this is going to also become a movie, which is so exciting. I don't know when it's coming out, but I definitely have it on my list already to see. And I didn't do that much casting with this, just because I ran out of people who I know. <laughs> um, but, okay, so for Sheeran, the main character, I, it's, she's a model. And I found her because she's the model on the book cover of Love from A to Z, which we also talked about in the last 
episode mm -hmm. of Is This Real Life? And so I did some stalking, and she's really beautiful. I think she lives in New York. So, um, so her Instagram is at Hadra underscore AAA. So we can put that on screen. Um, <laughs> so I thought that she could be Sheeran, if only because, I don't know, I could, I could see it. Mm -hmm. um, and then for Ocean James, I had no idea because, I mean, of course, he has character development. I was just thinking, you know, some teenage white actor. And there's a lot of them, so there I didn't are. know which. So I said Cole Sprouse again because he's in a lot of things yeah. like this. And then for Naveed, Sheeran's brother, I chose Zayn Malik because I love Zayn. And uh, Naveed breakdances, and I feel like Zayn could easily do that. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually true, but... <laughs> Zayn, show if us, If anything, Zayn, if you respond to this video, <laughs> I'll be... I will not be here. I yeah. will just faint from yeah. happiness. So <laughs> I didn't cast the evil coach. There's a evil coach in this book. That was my beginning casting of A Very Large Expanse of Sea. And I know the movie okay. will be so much more full of life, and I'm just so excited to see that come to life. Yeah, so am I. Um, yeah, so I also didn't do a ton of casting for this one, but um, for What If It's Us, so this is being turned into a movie, and I'm so excited. Um, we also talked about this one in, I think it was our first episode, mm -hmm. um, so if you want the full description, go to the first episode, but... Um, so I just cast Arthur and Ben, so the two main um, love interest mm -hmm. characters. Um, so I feel like a lot of these we've already talked about, but I'll just run through it. So Arthur, he's kind of like preppy. He's from Georgia. He moves to New York for a summer internship at a law firm um, and falls for Ben. So Arthur is, he's preppy. I, I want to say like a little bit nerdy. Um, yeah, he's so, so cute. So <laughs> for him, I said Cole Sprouse could be a good choice. Cole um, Sprouse is just everywhere. I know. <laughs> he's just, we're just giving him so many jobs right now. Um, Ansel Elgore, I thought could be mm. good. Uh, Miles Teller, like maybe a younger Miles Teller. Mm -hmm. um, and then Lucas Hedges, who was in Boy Erased, uh, Ben is Back. Lady Bird, I thought he would be a great choice for that. Um, and then Ben is kind of on like the cooler, like hipster, Brooklyn-y vibe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for him, I thought Dylan O'Brien from Teen Wolf and like the Maze Runner series, okay. I thought he could be a good choice. Dave Franco, I thought Ooh, could be good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dave Franco. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Logan Lerman, who we like have mentioned a couple times. Um, and then Lucas Till from like the Hannah Montana movie <gasps> and like <laughs> and like oh my um, gosh. the X Men Wait. series. I feel like he's done other things, but that's like I feel like I could see him as Arthur, but only because I'm picturing him oh. in plaid as as that character in the so Hannah he, Montana movie. So either we'll bring him in for both okay. roles and then whichever. You yeah. Know. Um, so yeah, those are just some solid options. I mean, let us know in the comments what you think. But yeah. Yeah, I think that was our episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. You should definitely tell us all the things that you wanted to hear for what we cast mm -hmm. instead of what we did cast. Yeah. <laughs> Let and us know if you absolutely hate our choices. Yeah. But actually don't. But just, <laughs> just do it in a nice way. Yeah. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. And then let us know uh, what movies you're excited to see come out that are made out of books and if you actually do like the movie more than the books, because we want to know everything. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess that's it. Yeah, all right, all right. we'll see you for our next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>